try to do it uh, the one step thing is the first thing that we're going to be finding all the time, right? So, uh, and find out, well, you have two options. You can pack to x equals zero, or you have to look at you know, what the function is. Okay? And so that means that it, it is very clear that the uh, y step is going to be uh, that. All right. Take this, if you haven't done this, then make sure that you can. Or check to us, right? And then we need to solve this. You can find the x step with the x axis, then we need to make y equals zero. Okay, so that means that we need to solve this equation. Right? And then if you solve this equation, uh, what was the answer that you had? So you're going to substitute. So you take 7 plus minus square root of, it's going to be 49, take away 4 times 3 times 1, and all divided by 6. And from here you got two answers, right? Okay, if you go to this study, what do you have? Um, negative 3 to Five. Negative, Wait, no. negative um, 0 0.15. 0 0.15. Uh, no, and negative 2.18. Okay, can you get that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, the next step was to find the axial symmetry. Okay, so we're going to do it in an uh, existing way all the time until I tell you not to do it anymore. Okay, so we're going to plug this together and divide the answer by 2. So we're going to do negative 0.15 plus negative 2.18. Then we divide by 2. And what's the answer for that? Can you put some of the answer for that? Negative 1.165. Negative 1.165? Yes. Yeah. Alright. And then if you do that into the formula, then we yes. should do uh, minus z, which negative is seven minus 7 on 6. And what is the answer? Negative 1.17. Negative 1.17? Yes. Okay. So this uh, will differ a little bit, but if you add this up, then you're going to have to sign it. Okay. So that means that it's working. And then for the vertex, what's that? The vertex is given by. Uh, the axis simply, the value of the axis simply, and then if you substitute this back into the very original one, what was the answer? Maybe three point zero. Maybe three point zero. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay. So you can see what I'm going to take you over the last years in your this let is very easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put another one. Because this requires a lot of practice. Okay, okay but this time I'm going to, I'm going to put uh, one that you can actually factorize. Okay, so you, you don't need to use the formula this time. Alright? Pay attention. This time I'm going to put one that can be factorized. You can use the formula all the time if you want. Okay, so if you don't want to, if you don't want to spend time guessing the numbers, then you can use the formula also to substitute. Okay. All right. So um, let me find the good one. Well, could you just put it in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're going to do the same. And then you have the option to factorize it. Okay, so you can find the two numbers that when you times them together equal negative 14. And when you add them together equal negative 14. Or you can use the formula, it doesn't matter. It's up to you, right? So, So I need to have. Yes. Okay. What is that? Um, I was in the last question. The best.
I think I just made how I was putting it in my